I'm back in my original setup. Hello, so today I'm going to do my May favorites. I only do my beauty favorites every other month. And I know that this video is late because I completely forgot. I was planning out my videos from for June and I realized, oopsie, where is my May favorites video? I have a lot of new stuff to show you, so I'm so excited. Let's do this. I want to start with my miscellaneous favorites because wala lang, chip ko lang. <laughs> this one is, look at that, look at that. Yes, those are Oreos covered in chocolate. I love Oreos, I love chocolate. Yes! Next up is green tea and this one is the Celestial Seasonings. It looks like that and I love green tea. Tea. I cannot express my love for green tea enough and this one is from a different brand and so far so good I love it yes 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 it's a warm hug in a cup the next one is attached to my iPhone so naka attached siya sa inyo guys right now but it is an iPhone case and it is from Otterbox I'll flash a picture right here and you know it's time for me to invest in a good iPhone case because I am very clumsy I drop my phone everywhere so sayang nasisira yung phone ko and wala na akong pampalit dyan my god so I have to say goodbye to my CY phone case and lastly, for my miscellaneous favorites, I've been watching Jess Beautician here in YouTube. And she is a vegan and she does beauty and lifestyle videos as well. But the videos that I watch from her is actually her what I eat in a day videos. You know, it really amazes me how, you know, vegans come up with such creative meals that you do not feel like you are eating a different fruit from other people who are not vegetarians or vegans. I'm not a vegan, I'm not a vegetarian, you know, just watching her videos relaxes me. I'll put her link down below if you want to check her out. Now, let's go on to my beauty favorites. First off is this one, and this one is a mask from Glam Glow. This is it right here. And this is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This mask is perfect for those who have acne, problematic skin, just like me. It just pulls all the dirt, all the grime that is on your face and it just makes life a little bit better. <laughs> it looks like this, you know, it's just your typical mud mask and I only have a sample size. I hauled this product together with my mom in a vlog. I'll link that vlog down below. Next is another skincare product and this one is a local product which I am so happy about because I don't usually find like good drugstore local products that work out for my skin and it was a surprise that this one worked out for me and this is the maxi peel exfoliant solution it looks like that and the one that i'm using is in number three and it just helps with the peeling i'm dealing with acne and acne scars and hyperpigmentation right now so there's a lot of dryness dry patches peeling and sometimes the peeling process takes a long time but this product really helps with my peeling and it also helps with my hyperpigmentation so those are for my skincare products just those two now let's go on to the makeup products the very exciting part yes yes this product changed my life it changed the way my eye bags look on my face and this one is the maybelline age rewind under eye concealer is that what you call it no it's the eraser dark circle and the shade that i have here is in fair you know i look bright eyed even though i am so tired so puyat like talagang walang tulog but then when i put this it's like the next product has reached a cult status and this one is the Benai Banana Powder. I'm late in the bandwagon. I was setting my face with just transparent or translucent powder and then I tried this. This, this. This would ace your face game. I'm not kidding. I never thought that I would feature a highlighting product in my 
videos. For my longtime subscribers out there, you know that I have a very oily face and I do not use highlighters because my face would get oily at the middle of the day. So it's as if I have a built-in highlighter on my face. But I fell in love with this product. This one is the City Color Intense Exposure Highlighting Powder. It looks like that. I'll give you a swatch. Look at that. Look at that icy, creamy, highlighting goodness. It is the highlight that I am wearing today. I have it here, have it here, have it here, have it here. And as you can see, it just gives the lit from within kind of highlight. It's not that dramatic like boom highlight but it is subtle but you know that it is there and it just gives my face that healthy glow that you know my perception with highlighters immediately changed. From highlighters, let's go on to contour powders and I have here the Shawil Perfect Powder. It is actually a face powder but it is dark enough to act as a contour powder and this was actually suggested by Mean Orda. So thank you so much girl for suggesting this product to me. Guys, it is your perfect cold tone contour powder. It really looks natural on your skin. It's not overly brown, not overly gray. And the shade that I have here is in number three and I'll give you a swatchy. As you can see, you know, it's just your perfect cold tone brown. This one is the NYX. What do you call this? This is the NYX eye or eyebrow pencil and the shade that I have here is in white Pearl. I did a haul on this. I would link that haul also down below if you would want to watch that haul. And it looks like this. It is your white eyeliner but it has a bit of iridescence in it. I'm wearing it right now at my inner lower inner my lower inner tear duct ba? or tear duct lang siya. I'm not sure. But I'm wearing it right here and I just like that effect, like that doe-eyed open effect. That's just my thing. I know that not a lot of people like that effect, but for my eye shape, I really like that effect. Next is a lip product and this one is the Nivea Fruity Shine in Watermelon. My lips has been so dry lately as in my lips are saying, help Tish, help, feed us, feed us with moisture. And this is actually my favorite lip balm. I love the scent. I love the moisturized feel that it gives me. It looks like this and for this lip balm, it has a bit of color and sheen to it. It looks like that, you know, it has a bit of color in there. And I found myself wearing this alone. <sighs> we have another lip product right here. And this one is the Kiss Proof Mino Lipstick. And the shade that I have here is in 008. I have a video about these lipsticks and I would put a link to that video down below. And this one is my favorite shade. And as you can see, it is a brownie nude. Yes! I'm your typical brownie nude kind of girl. I'll give you a swatch. So it looks like that. It has the perfect balance of peach and brown to it. You know, when you put it on, you would not look dead. You would look semi-alive. No, <laughs> joke. You would, it just looks really good on my skin tone. And it works with a lot of eye looks. So I've been loving that color in there. So those are my favorites for the month of May. And again, I'm very sorry that this video is somehow late, but naguulyanin na ang lola nyo. So sorry, sorry. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and all that shit so you don't miss any of this. Also, go download my app. The link is down below. This is Tish and I'll just see you on my next video. These are my social media, so follow me, tweet me, stalk me. Okay, do not stalk me, but ju let's just be friends.